So we'll go, what I'm going to do, we'll be going to kind of, uh, uh, so, so we're going to first take the, describe the model of computation, the model of protocol execution, right? And then we're going to describe what's uh, protocol emulation, but, uh, uh, which is what we were talking about before. And we talk about defined ideal services, and then the composition theorem and you know, uh, theorem, uh, operation and theorem, and then we're going to talk about um, examples and how to actually capture concerns. Okay. Okay. So 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 the first thing to do is actually uh, describe the basic computing unit. So right now we are not even talking about security or anything, although it's kind of we should have, keep it in the back of our minds, but just talk about how to capture a model of computation. Uh, that should capture, like in general, uh, how computer systems uh, uh, work and interact, and at some level of, uh, of abstraction or detail, and, and this should kind of give us the, the, the basis on which we can build things. Uh, but it's important to model things right. right? Um, okay, so, so we we'll start with the basic computing unit. Uh, so. Uh, which is something that, uh, that uh, does some computation. So it's going to be some abstract computing device without getting into too much detail because it's not going to be important for us. One can go to that, but uh, we try to not to go too much. Um, so, so we want to, uh, to, to model something which is kind of flexible. On the one hand, it'll be just a, a very uh, kind of one-to-one -one, uh, uh, modeling of a node, which is a, a CPU plus RAM or some, some other memory. Uh, or it can be also a cluster of nodes, and can be a process, it could be an enclave uh, without, within a, a, a processor, etc. Uh, we want to be able to capture things uh, uh, all in the same way. So, so formally, uh, we're going to be, call it uh, an interactive machine, and it's going to be a Turing machine, but you can think of it as a RAM machine, whatever model of computation, we don't want to get into details. Uh, maybe a RAM machine is better than a Turing machine because you can access things uh, in a normal way. Um, and then uh, we, we want to actually define some spe uh, special construct that's going to allow us to, to talk about, in the, talk about uh, computation in the model. So we're going to do some special tapes or ports or whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, some ways to register information. So we're going to have identity tape uh, uh, within this uh, machine. And uh, uh, that this identity tape uh, will, will contain uh, uh, the code, the program of the machine, and then some, uh, uh, some string that we're going to call it uh, the identity of the machine. Uh, and later on, we're going to actually say that this identity string actually has two strings. Uh, one is called the, uh, the, the, the PID or the process ID. The other one is the SID, which is the session ID. You know, these names are very meaningful, but we'll see how we're going to use them. Um, and then, uh, 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 and then it has uh, uh, an input tape, then two, three tapes, which uh, are going to be uh, writable by other processors, kind of extendably writable. That's how we do the communication. So we're going to, instead of having just one, we're going to have three just because it's convenient. It's not essential in any way. We're going to call it an input tape, an incoming communication tape, and uh, incoming subroutine uh, output tape. So... Uh, um, me use this one anyway because I want to keep using this. So just if you want to think of it pictorially, um, I want to think of a machine uh, uh, as a, we think of it as a box that uh, uh, that it has uh, can be can can be it has the, the identity tape right and uh, and then uh, uh, it has. The input tape is something that uh, I'm going to think of it as coming from above, from the colors. That's going to be my uh, uh, my API, and I have a communication. I'm going to think of it as something that's coming from the network, but uh, so far it's it's just something. And I'm going to have a subroutine output. Output. So this I'm thinking of is coming from my subroutines of like the APIs below. Okay. And uh, these are the three incoming tapes. Uh, and then in, uh, I have also an outgoing message tape. That's where I'm going to write my messages that I'm going to send to somewhere else. OK, the outgoing. OK, so that's, uh, that's essentially it. And then I have this additional instruction to all the other instructions, which is going to be external write, which will say in a bit what it means. OK, 
So this is just to, to have uh, the underlying interface. Oh, and I'm going to have a didn't write. I have some one more bit here which says that active. You'll see in a minute what it, what it means. Um, okay, so that's the unit. And now uh, I want to uh, talk about a system of, uh, of interactive machines, right? So how the, this, these guys uh, uh, compute together, or interact together. So, uh, so I, I'm going to control, uh, describe it very abstractly. So a system is a pair, right now is a pair of machines. Uh, I is, they call it, it's, a, it's, an, it's an interactive machine, it's an initial machine. And C, right now I call it a control function, um, which is going to be a, a function from strings to uh, allow this allow. It's going to be uh, uh, execution prefixes, and we'll see in a minute what it does. Uh, First of all, why are we doing this? I'm going to define a model of, we need to define some model of uh, concurrent execution or, or whatever execution of protocols, right? So far we don't have anything. We have like, we are, so far we just talked up in the air because we don't have a real, model of what does it mean to compute. To compute two protocols at the same time. Or to compute even one protocol, to, to, to do something in a network. When I talk to you, you talk to me, we, we talk to Mayank, and, and how does it go? How, how do those things go, right? So we, we all together, one, you know, so scheduling, so, so, so there are lots of models of, those, of this stuff. We well, mentioned earlier, right? Uh, so we, but I somehow claim that they're not good enough for us, and we'll do something else. 